and welcome back to Let's Play Medieval. Last time we did the lake, and now we're going to do the Crystal Caves. Which is not really that long of a level. Uh, yet at the same time, it's not that short either. And the next level after this is pretty short. So We got Fine Shadow Demons, which, which will be taken up by our, by our new weapon. Magic Wombo. It's pretty good. It's a pretty good long range weapon. But I barely used it though. Mostly because of its low ammo ca ammo uh, capacity. So if I can get this guy. What am I doing? <laughs> there. Come back here. All you come over here. Freaking shadow demon. And as you can see, there's a chalice over there at the very beginning of the level, but we obviously we cannot get it yet since we haven't killed enough enemies. So let's talk to this gargoyle for some info. The ancient town of Melomede was destroyed by creatures known as Rhinotaurs. They live on still, but in a state of hibernation, deep within these caverns. They use the crystals to prolong their worthless hides. Ah, uh, Rhino Towers. New enemy types. Yep, the crystals are right here. All you do is uh, obviously you break them. And we got the return of the imps. We can't go this way since we do not have the star room, so we'll continue on. Oh, okay, okay, go ahead, no, no, kill him, kill him, kill him. Remember, imps without, imps without torches, watch out. They will steal your shit. Kill him, and you get it back. Kill him before it goes to, the, to that hole in the wall, unless so you can't get it back, you also have to buy it back, which is really expensive. And I'll hate for one of these little imps to grab a magic sword. There. Alright, these guys are the Rhino Towers that uh, Gargoyle has been talking about. They're pretty easy to kill. I don't know why they're so easy to kill. Most likely because of my magic sword. Magic sword OP right there. Well, not really OP. I mean, it's, it's the best melee you know, weapon in the game. Now. If it's like two magic swords, you know, dual wielding really ones, that is OP right there. <laughs> that is OP right there. Nerf that one. Don't nerf a single magic sword. There's a camera. Okay. Yeah, that's the only problem with this game is, is the camera. Oh, it's without torches. I will not have him steal my shit. <laughs> Especially my magic sword. I don't want them taking that. No way. Alright, spice some magic arrows. There we go. Put them back. Let's go ahead and read this book. Why not? Right. Tread softly in these caves for a mill. Ah, there's a dragon here. There is a dragon here. And guess what? We get to fight it. That's right, we get to fight a dragon. Man, what kind of knight doesn't fight a dragon? Really? And this is where we fight the dragon. Right here. But first, we need to collect some stuff. Get rich. And you can actually hear him snoring in the background. Let's read this book. The Union Old Dragon can be summoned by inserting two. Okay. First, take out the hammer for no reason. Remember the dragon gems we've been collecting? You know, the two the two dragon gems, you know, we collected them for like one each of the two levels. One in the asylum and one in the pumpkin serpent. I did say we get to use it later on, and in this level we get to use it. About time, huh? So approach the dragon head on the wall. Insert the two dragon gems. One and two. And we get a cutscene. Who dares to enter my land and wake me from my slumber? Aha! 
Prepare yourself, little man. I shall roast the flesh from your bones. Oh, uh, I see. Well, in that case, I will pluck out both your eyes. Oh, great. I'm just gonna give you a good hiding. Funny dragon. Oh my god, it's Draco. It's Draco. No, hit the ground with your hammer or your club. You cannot, you cannot damage it with your any of your other weapons. Just hit the ground, and it makes. And I'm okay. And I'm on fire. If you're on fire, mix it out. Cool off. It receives a boss battle. Don't let the fire hit you. By the way. Oh, I forgot to. Got some frame droppers here. Hang on a sec. Okay, now I'm ready. Here we go. Oh, wrong one. Oh, what? Now it gets me? Are you serious? What is that? Oh, God. It's actually a pretty easy boss battle. Man, holy crap, does that dragon sound like Draco? Oh, poor Draco. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I mean Draco from Dragonheart. Not like Draco Malfoy from Harry, <laughs> from Harry Potter. I meant Draco from Dragonheart. And we got the dragon armor. It breathes fire, and you're immune to heat when you're wearing it. Only when you're wearing it. Not like anywhere else. We need it to progress. Trust me. If you haven't seen Dragonheart, go see it. It's really good. It's a 90s movie. So it's not really, really new. And I bet you're wondering who's Draco. Well, he's that dragon, he's that dragon in that movie. And he sounds a lot like Sean Connery. <laughs> sounds a lot like Sean Connery. Up there, you know, and Draco is voiced by Sean Connery. I think the voice actor is really a fan of that movie. <laughs> Must be a really fan of, of the Dragon Knight movie. They wanted, they wanted that dragon to sound like Sean Connery. So we drop here, and we're back where we were. Since we have the star room, we go over here, insert it. And this leads to the end of the, end of the level. Now, don't go near the edges, or, 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 or else you'll fall through. Trust me, I've done it once. And I screwed myself over because of that. I ain't gonna steal my shit. <laughs> Not my magic sword. Okay. The end of the level's right there, but we're not gonna go through it yet because we don't have the chalice. And the chalice is, like I showed you, is located at the beginning of the level. Which is right here. Yep. Be careful where you walk. I don't see a fall, die. There we go. Now let's um, get get out of here. See, told you it's not not really that one of the level. And yet at the same time it's not short. The next level is a lot shorter. <laughs> I can trust you on that one. But there are enemies in that short level that it can be that that dishes out a lot of damage. So let's see, that's what the magic sword is for. Hall of Heroes, let's go. Mastery of coordinates in, in the in the morning. Oh, info. Wouldn't this make a wonderful tourist attraction? Come see Stengard the Mighty! Come and see the last of the centaurs! Oh, and see that dork over there? That's Daniel Fortescue, would-be hero! Ha 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 ha! Ha 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 ha, shut up. Shut up. Anyway, there is one more, one more hero that they haven't seen yet. Gasp! Yes, there's a hero we haven't seen yet. Remember that door that was between the two stairs? 
That door is open right now. And beyond that door is the final hero. There she is. She'll give us the final weapon. Daniel, there you are. I was so worried about you. Mm -hmm. I know you have the heart of a hero, Daniel. Now we must show the others. Would you like to take my magic lightning bolts? I don't have many, but they're very powerful. Oh yeah, why not? Off you pop then, and keep your chin up. Oops, sorry Daniel. Now take care. The good people of Galamir are depending on you. And we got the lightning. I will show that off at, on the next time. Next level. I'll explain what it is at the next level. But we got the lightning. And all I can say is, right now, is the lightning is on before I exit the level. Lightning. Let me highlight it real quick. There is a number on the bottom, 100%. If it goes down to zero, you can never use it ever again. Not ever. For the rest of the game. You cannot buy it back. It's only a one time thing. If you use it all, it's gone forever. So, that's all I'm going to say. I'll explain more on that on the next level. Because there is part, there is a part of the um, level that we get to use the lightning. Well, not it's, it's optional, but I usually use it. Uh, no. So, next time we get to go to the Gallows Gauntlet, which is a very short level. But there are enemies that, that, that like I said, enemies that dishes out a lot of damage. So, yep, Gallows Gauntlet, up next. Fan3421, signing out. Thanks for watching.